have three months to go before hurricane season ends on November 30th. And the Red Cross is encouraging families to stay prepared for extreme weather and natural disasters. In fact, September is actually National Preparedness Month. So joining me now is Karen McCoy, the executive director of the Northwest Louisiana chapter of the Louisiana Red Cross. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much for having us. Let's talk a little bit about the fact that we are right in the middle of hurricane season. And even though we are farther up, we still see a lot of the uh, effects when it makes landfall. Absolutely. Um, we can just tell by Hurricane Burl that came through and the number of tornadoes that we had as a result of that right here in our area. I believe we had um, 67 tornado warnings, which is more than we've ever had in this area as a result. So it's a perfect time to make sure that you are prepared for any natural disaster that comes your way. So let's talk a little bit about some of the things that we need to do to make sure we're ready. Okay, so right now is what we call blue skies because we don't have an active emergency going on. And what we ask you to do is to get prepared right now. So now is the time for you to determine if there's an emergency where you have to evacuate your home, where are you gonna go? So determining and letting all your family members know, especially your children, where are we going to evacuate to? Is that um, our family's house that's in Texas or in another area? And so that everybody knows where we're going to. If it's an emergency, say you have a home fire, um, where are we going to meet when we get out of this home? You want to have three ways out. Are we going to meet across the street at the neighbor's house under the oak tree? Because the last thing we want is for somebody to go back into a home that's burning. And then if you're staying in place, if you're not having to leave and you're, you're sheltering in place, having the supplies ready um, before it hits so that you're prepared. Right, that way you're not having to scramble in the moment of, you know, a stressful time already, but having to try and find the bits and pieces. Yeah. So what are the main essentials that we need to have ready in case of an emergency? So we like you to have two different kits. So one of those would be what we call as a go kit. That could be a backpack or something that you grab when you're having to, to get out of there pretty quickly. Um, we want you to have at least three days supplies of stuff in that go kit. So that can be medical supplies, that can be food, that can be water, any important papers. Obviously, we want you to have batteries um, just in case you have you go somewhere that doesn't have power. So that's a three day supply kit. And then we have what we call as our at home kit. And that's where we want you to have two weeks of supplies of non perishable food, water, again, the batteries. Um, be sure to obviously if you have children or if you have pets that you have supplies for them to keep them mm -hmm. entertained. Um, in like a hand cranked radio or a battery powered radio and that helps you stay informed. Absolutely. You mentioned batteries, the power banks, things like yeah. that are good to have on hand as well because you never know uh, when you're going to be able to charge your cell phone to try and keep up with family members. Absolutely. And we experienced that last summer when we had that straight line wind event that took out power for two weeks in our community um, during extreme heat. So, I mean, it's vitally important that you have um, you know, stuff for your CPAP machine, any medical equipment that you have that might need to have batteries or backup, that you have all of that in place as well. And if somebody's watching right now going, okay, I've checked all of these boxes, <laughs> we do want to remind you it is important to make sure to update your kit and make sure that everything stays absolutely. in date in that kit as well. That's absolutely correct. So if you have one sitting there that you've had there for three years, it's probably time to get it and update it. I mean, um, batteries can corrode, your food can expire, even those non perishable food items have a, a, a shelf life on them. So be sure that you go through and make sure everything's up to date. Our phones, the things we use to charge them, those change regularly too. So you might, might, might need to put new cords in there as well. Okay, Karen, do you have a checklist on the website that we could maybe follow through? Absolutely. Go to redcross.org and under disasters, it'll have a list. We actually even have kits that you can purchase. Um, so if you don't want to put it together, you just want to have that kit at home. We have those kits ready for you that you can purchase and it has all the essentials you need. Fantastic. Well, Karen, thank you so much for coming and sharing thank this you. very important information. The skies are blue right now. It's beautiful out there, but we want you to be ready for whatever may come your way. Thank you. Thanks, Karen.